I'm kind of having fun lately with just seeing where to take our ponchos and hang them up in hammock mode. Deal out here where I'm at, there's not a lot of options. And um, I mean, I, I have some hammock stands, my bipod stands and stuff like that. So not like I couldn't do it, but I'm just trying to hang from somewhere and not use my vehicle like the bumper or bed of my truck or whatever. So right up here in this conglomerate rock, there's a little, there's a space about this wide between this rock right here and that next section of rock. So I decided to see, can I hang my HD poncho as a hammock in that little space? Let's check it out. Let's just take a wander up here. It is incredibly windy out here. So hopefully my sound will be all right. So right here, see this space between here. It's trying to figure out how can I hang my hammock in there. Okay, so see I'm about this wide. I'm four foot, about four foot four right here. And I'm about the same up through here. So obviously I can't hang between here. So my idea was to hang from diagonally. So hang from out at the front on this side and then on this rock here at the end of that on that side so I can try to get me a diagonal here and see if I can hang here. Now, part of my question is, so I'm going to be laying in the hammock. I'm going to be, I don't know, it's going to be close. Hey, I just gave myself some more space. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, so let's just uh, see what we can do here, man. All right, so what I've done here, if you watched my video from a week or two ago where I hung out on the red sandstone rock, I did this kind of thing right here. I have a Bosch cordless hammer drill that I just have in my truck. So I just drilled me an anchor in. And I put me a, uh, what do they call them in climbing? <laughs> I put me a, I don't know, hanging point. <laughs> I forget the name. <laughs> I'm not a climber, obviously. Anyway, this is a stainless steel uh, hanging, ah, I can't remember the word. Anyway, y'all know if you're a climber. So there's that one right there. I'm three inches in on my anchor, so I think. All right, so there's that one. And we come back here. And now this one's a little bit, uh, this is a little bit lower to the ground because I'm the ground is sloping up to this point actually by several feet. So this one here is about stomach height on me right here where the one on the other end is over my head a little bit. So I just uh, put that, I put that point in there. Now we just clip in and let's get her, get her done, hang this thing up, see what happens. So looking down through here, so we got here and you can see there's, there is not a tree in sight anywhere. This is all just desolate desert. Just little tiny plant life. Okay, let's hang this baby up. Okay, I've got the uh, wind threatening to blow my camera over, but we'll hope that doesn't happen. Got a couple carabiners here. And you don't, uh, you don't have to have, these are rated for climbing. You can buy some carabiners that are rated, they're strong enough to hold your weight, 
they just have a wire gate here. This is a locking gate. I definitely don't even need that, but but these, I don't know. I just I have have a bunch of these. Anyway, so I just clip that in there. Like that right there. Okay. And then I'm going to use my daisy chain webbing. So this is two five footers. That's the standard length. Okay, and this daisy chain webbing, overall 3,000 pound test altogether. If you clip through a loop, the loop test is 1,500 pounds. So plenty strong. So all I got to do here is just open the gate. Do it so, I can, so you can see it. Open the gate and just put that through a loop here. See, like that. So there, that's all there is to this end. So I go do the other one down there. And then I connect my poncho to it. Pretty simple. Now I want to have the gate on the, or the opening on the bottom. So it's just easier to hook this. So just clip that through like that. And I could have positioned this anchor, anchor point, that's what it is. I could have positioned this differently. I don't know. I just did it like that for whatever reason. For whatever reason. Okay, now just take this, put my thumb through there and open me up a loop. Every three inches there's a woven loop. And I just come over here and open the gate. Put it through there. We're now hooked in. Now it's time to do the poncho. This poncho right here, the HD poncho, printed in ATAX IX. The HD poncho is made out of 500 denier cordura nylon. So it's very strong, very abrasion resistant. And these, these People buy these just to use wherever, so they don't have to worry about anything. Obviously, you're not worried about carrying the weight. These are about three pounds, where our regular ripstop is about a pound and a quarter, and our Super UL is nine ounces. So this is equipped with the Quick Connect, which is stored inside this cord sleeve. And if you don't order that, if you just do the default, it comes with parachute cord that you actually just put a little pocket knife, a little weight on there and let gravity drop it through the cord sleeve. So either way, nice thing about the Quick Connect is if you're going to use it much as a hammock, this is stored inside. You don't even notice it when you're using it as a poncho. So it's already there. You don't have to feed it through. You just hang it up. You're done. Okay, so that's nice. Now anytime you order anytime you order daisy chain webbing comes with a pair of tubular aluminum aircraft aluminum tubing with a little shock cord loop on the end of that and that be that is a toggle. So I have no idea how much I need here. I'm just gonna Just gonna put this thing through here and I'm just gonna stick the toggle anywhere. Wherever. So you see, just like that. Okay. And I can move it three inches up or down in just a matter of seconds. Okay. So now let's go do the other end. I was kind of hoping that being in here would kind of be less wind. And it is. But a good bit of wind kind of channels down here anyway, but it's not as uh, powerful. There's a lot of wind, but it's not quite as powerful in here as outside in the totally in the open. So, oh my gosh, this is going to be close. Holy cow! I maybe should have come back here a little more to get a little steeper diagonal, but I don't know. We just got to do what we got to do. And see, I haven't even pre, like I haven't even, and I haven't even like 
done this ahead of time just so I could just do this video. Yeah, it would have been better if I would have mounted this maybe over here. I'm a little close to that side, which I'll show you in a second. Yeah, see, I'm a little... I'm not, I'm not worried about it because this Cordura... I mean, you brushing against that rock a little bit is not going to hurt it. I mean, you wouldn't want to do it for a long time, but... Okay. So I cinched up the hood on my poncho, so now let's see how, how we are here. So I'm, I need to tighten up a little. Maybe two spots. So that's pulling it up six inches. Put my toggle back through there. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't need my tape measure on there. <laughs> Drop that in the hood. I'm going to pull this side down just a little so you can see me a little better. Actually, this is very doable. I mean, any any normal kind of swinging action is still, you know, is still no problem. I'm not running into the edge. Granted, like I said, if I would have mounted that anchor point there a little more than maybe a foot this way, it would have pulled me a little closer to this side. You know, this might be nice in the summertime, like I come out here camping in the summer. Because after about 3 or 4 o'clock, the sun is going to be out of here. And it will probably have a breeze going through. So this actually might be a nice, more comfortable place to sleep in the summertime when it's hot out here. Well, there's my anchor point there, carabiner, my daisy chain webbing, the toggle, the quick connect cords that are built in optionally to this poncho, and then my poncho hanging here is a hammock. I'm trying to get an overhead shot and. I'd like to get one from there, but I don't know if I can get over there. So see, I can even, I can even swing a little bit. 